So you want your feet parallel. You want to sink the hips. You want to lengthen up through the spine. Relax, relax your arms. And just take a few slow, deep breaths. Feel the head float up, feel the weight sink down, relax around the knees. Let go the elbows, the wrists and the hands. Just make sure the palms of your hands nice, big feeling. And then just starting by turning the waist, just feel the body turn sink the shoulders, sink the hips. Really floppy fire your arms. They're nice and relaxed. You want to lengthen up through the spine. Gently breathe in and gently breathe out. So we're sinking the hips and really own your space. Pay attention to your breathing. And so what you want to do is you want to follow the breath as it goes in and follow the breath as it goes out. So we're going to be looking at posture today. Gently draw the toes in. Feel nice and tall through the body. Sink the hips and then practice your soft focused gaze. Okay, just feel the, feel the arms relax, sink your hips, really focus on having a very good posture. Then we're just going to practice shifting our weight. So you transfer the weight through one foot, you transfer the weight through the other. You're keeping this nice tall feeling in the body.
you're noticing the contact between feet and the ground change. Again, you're lengthening through the spine. So you want to feel the back way point, the crown of the head float up. You want your chin not too far forwards, not too far back. Nice and relaxed in the body. Okay, just sink your, your hips. Just very gently sink forwards and back. I'll just show you that from the side view. So I'm just, just gently rocking. And you want to try and get yourself to get your weight to land through the same point each time. So I'm aiming somewhere between the toes and the ball of the foot. And then the heel from the heel to where the ball of the foot and toes meet. Just gently breathe in and out, lengthen through the spine. And then we're going round and round. Keep breathing, relax around the jaw, now go in the other direction, let go around the wrists, let go around the palms of the hands. Okay, sink down, figure eight, again use your eyes, tall through the body, And then go around the other way. Keep breathing. Excellent. Okay, so we've hopefully woken up our feet. Um, we'll do a bit more on loosening and then we're going to really practice this whole being able to stand on one leg business.
because there's some it's quite a good way of really strengthening um i've been doing a lot of stuff with barry and um also the cascubas and it's it's a really good way of making your leg really strong if you're just standing on one of them and not both so what we're going to do now practice your weight transfer and then we're just going to do the turn so we're doing the inside turn so i'll show you that from the diagonal view breathing and we're doing our inside turn that's it nice and relaxed just let go let go around the shoulders feel the feet so really pay attention to the contact uh, through the feet and the ground so connecting to the ground and that the ground the earth is heavy but your body is soft and light so you're connecting to this reassuringly heavy thing okay let's do the outside turn but before check your posture so always really check the posture and then we'll do this Keep the eyes eye level. And then we'll change a little shake out. Take a slightly wider stance. We're just going to do the one where you're practicing opening the hip. You close, you transfer, you open. You close, you transfer, you open. We'll just keep it with the legs for now. Make sure your knees are in line with the toes and you're tall, tall through your body and we're breathing. Okay, now do the arms. Tall through the spine. Watch the alignment of your knee. Make sure your knees line up with the toes. And then we raise the arms. Nice and tall. One more each side. A shake out. Just allow yourself to settle through. 
through the feet. Nice tall feeling in the body, nice and relaxed. Really tune into the feet. Really relaxed, that's lovely. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. So think that your body is connected, it needs to be connected with itself. You're sinking your hips. And then turn the palms so that they're up. And you've got this nice open feeling in the body. So you want your arms slightly in front of the center line. So you don't want it here, that's too much. You want it in front. So you should be able to see your hands from the corner of each eye. So in your peripheral vision, you want to be able to see your hands in your peripheral vision. And that tells you that the arms are in front. If, you, if they're at the side, you can't see them in your peripheral vision. If they're here, you can see them. And we're really like, oh, nice and relaxed. So, okay, and then change. Outside turn, really relaxed. So you can even do it very slow motion. So you're just like this, Let's try a few in slow motion and then do it a bit faster. So, but do some slow motion ones first. Nice and relaxed, all very linked and soft. So a good way of getting into the standing on one leg is having very, very good posture. So we're So think aligned thoughts, that's it, yeah. And then, then go a bit quicker, try, try some speedier ones. So it's important to be able to move slow and fast. So on, on Friday, we were moving much faster. <laughs> I am in negotiations with Julie, but she's very, very busy. She teaches online at a school, but I'm hoping she'll be able to come and show us on Friday what to do. But it will be a Friday at some point. <laughs> so nice and relaxed. Okay, one more each side. Really relax. Just let the arms drop. Oh, nice and relaxed. Sink the hips. go and the lower back lengthen through the spine imagine you're getting a bit taller connect your feet to the ground and change swing the arms forwards and back just keep it nice and smooth for now we'll just explore this a little bit more All through spine, relax the around the jaw. Just tune into your breath and use the breath to kind of anchor yourself to that calm, quiet place of stillness. So you can do do some big ones.
just to kind of and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up at the top. Now we go around the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check your posture. Wobbly. Breathe. Relaxed. Calm. Rooted. Feel your root. Okay, get yourselves into Gongbu. Bow and arrow stance. So I'll show you that from the actually I'll show you from the diagonal. So we want to get our posture really good and we're going to practice sinking forwards and sinking back just a soft focus gaze forward listening behind and above nice and tall breathing relax and sort of cultivate this feeling of being a bit content as well as comfortable, this sort of quietly, yeah, quiet contentedness. That's where we're at. You know, even when you're standing on one leg, you're just completely nice and chilled and just like, yeah. So, but it, it's um, an engaged chilledness that's, that's alert and very aware, like mindful, you're being mindful. Okay, now we're going to sink and turn. So it, and remember your hips are level, your shoulders are level, you're nice and soft, that's it. So it goes one, two, three, four. So this should be murdering your legs. Let's change the sides, change sides so we can we can murder the other leg. So you just start, check your posture. Posture, very important. Relaxing. Then you step. Check that you're correct. Calm yourself some more. Pay attention, then you move forwards and back. So really paying attention, feeling very aware, noticing contact with through the feet correct alignment letting go in the lower back lengthening through the crown of the head gently breathing and now we'll do it with a turn nice and relaxed Out from the side. Okay, now this time and back. 
let the arm swing. Okay, now try that the other side. Check your posture. Sink the hips. Forwards and back. And then step forward, step back. And then step with the other leg. One more, forward and back. Shake out. Okay, let's do a little bit of standing. So we'll start with Master Chung's exercise. I'll just show you that from the diagonal view. So we go one, we breathe in. Two, we sink down, extend the fingers. Three, we breathe in, bring the wrist to the shoulders. Four, let go between the shoulder blades, let go down the arm muscles and just breathe in and out for a bit. Okay, let's, uh, let's join in. One, two, three, four, letting go. Letting go between the shoulder blades, letting go down the arm muscles. One, two, three, and four. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Letting go between the shoulder blades, letting go down the arm muscles. One more time. One, two, three, four. And then chain back. the 
hips. Relax the hands, pull through the spine. Have your weight 50-50, gently draw the toes in. Feeling solid in your posture. So correct alignment. This time, step into cat stance and hold the posture. So you want to make sure your hips are level. All through the body. So we won't hold it too long because cat stance, doing this in cat stance, quite, you can feel it in your leg, can't you? Okay, now transfer the weight and step into cat stance, this side. So we're just holding the ball. So you want to sink the hips, to show you that from the side. I'm sinking the hips and it's as if I'm just sitting on half of a stool. Pull through the body. Now try Going from cat stance to standing on one leg. So if you feel yourself wobbling, pop it back into cat stance. And now try the other side. Start with your cat stance first. Check that your hips are level, your shoulders are level. Bend that leg a bit more and then raise that up. shake out right more fun leg exercises from the cascubas um actually i'll bring the thingy down a bit hang on let me just bring that then you can see my feet a bit better yeah that's better you've got more of my feet now um right this is a horrible leg exercise from corel so you just have your foot out like that and then what he does is he bends the knee to Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, horrible. And then, so I, I go into a kind of floating cat stance. I go into cat stance, then float my foot. I'll show you from the, the front. And then I'm, these are level, these are level. You can have your hands out if you need to, and you just do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Absolute, oh that really, you can really feel that in your leg. Gosh. Okay, let's go back to this one. Just to... So let's do some Qigong and then we'll come back to the um, some more leg ones but let's let's uh, lull ourselves into a false sense of security so we'll do rooting down nice and relax really soften the arms
and then change. Wild Goose Fly subdued version. So not like the one we were doing this morning. So. so just feel that we're nice and tall through the spine. around the palms of the hands one more each side and then we change separate the clouds One more. Dragon plucks the stars from the sky. And then one more time each side. We're stretching between heaven and earth first, but with a weight shift. And then white crane spreads its wings. Okay, one more each side. Uh, 
Okay, now this time, stand on one leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try it the other side. So get yourself in cat stance, then get yourself set up, and then we'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Well, that's getting better, isn't it? Very good. Okay, let's do this. So, what I'm doing, uh, I'll show it from that side. So, I'm turning my body, I'm lifting my fist, and then I'm going to the to the corners. To the corners so we'll do it one side and then we'll do it the other one three nice four five stay nice and tall right now we'll try it with the with the other fist so it, it comes around and ends up at the corner and there's a slight bend one and then what you want to do is think of rising and bend your legs at the same time two three four five six oh i didn't do six i did five that's oh well, never mind never mind right we'll do okay we'll do six each side Again, one, two, four, that's right, two left, five, six, okay, six this side, one and you're, you're using your your whole body to move the arm two three four five six okay right now remember we were doing this one corrals now what you can do is you can go up with the leg and down up two three so knees pointing where the toes point four five okay one two three so the legs going out to the corner four so it's at the front first that goes to the corner five okay now this time we're going to lift the leg up, bend the other leg, and then place it down on the heel, but we're putting very hardly any weight on that leg. You want to keep the weight on the back leg, and we're going to do that five times. One. So it's very lightly on the, on the, on the floor. Two. Three. four five and then give your legs a wiggle because that's quite quite hard work on the leg that you're standing on but we'll try it try it the other side and we're going to do five and end up with the heel lightly touching the floor very light touch so all your weight is still in this back leg posture Good, pop, that's it, nice and tall. Good root. Sink your hips, sink your shoulders. And there's this springy feeling in the body, springiness but calm. One. Two. Three. Four. 
five. That's it. So you feel your hips open, right? Now for fun. Okay, demonstration. So just watch. One. So we're going to do five that side, and then we're going to do five that side. So you want to relax, relax the hand. So this is quite, it feels quite heavy. Um, it's, it's, you want it relaxed, it's relaxed. So we'll start this side first and we'll do five and then we'll do this side. Good posture. Okay, transfer your weight, get into your cat stance and get your hand ready. So you want to set yourself up first. Breathe in and out. And begin. One. Two. Tall through the head. Three. So keep your weight back. Four. Keep your weight on the leg you're standing on. And five. Okay. Try that the other side. Cat stance, bring your fist in to above the knee. Okay, I'll do it in slow motion. One. That's it, so upright, upright, that's it. Two. Three. five yeah try not to wobble just just relax watch so you go from here to here to here so what we were doing so you keep your hips level you raise the knee you sink your leg you bend the leg to bring the heel on the floor so you're not putting any weight on that leg and at the same time like that so yeah, you want to stay upright upright more upright that's it so you want to look at your do do the other leg then you've got a matching pair so we're going to do one very 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 slow so we go like this so we raise up it's a slightly straighter leg now this hand comes over this leg comes over now bend that leg to bring the leg down and my, my weight is in this leg so you want to be upright there you go yeah Woo. so the important thing so when uh, that movement comes after you've done your your fan through back. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hang on. After you've done your fan through back, and then this is what happens. It goes like that. And then you step parry and punch into double-handed push so that's where you want to be able and it's only one movement but actually if you want to do it correctly that's what happens then it goes like that so for a moment there is no weight in that leg which is why you need to be able so that exercise we were doing Carell's exercise So let's let's go back to that one. So you, you start in cat actually start in cat stance and just do this. Two, three, four, five, and then try. It's a bit like ballet, isn't it? And then try uh, cat stance in that leg. One, two. So you can feel your leg muscles getting larger as we're as we're doing this. Lesson four, five. 
And then what you do, go into cat stance, let the foot lift off the floor, and then we do the same. One, two, three, four, five. Now try that the other side. Cat stance first, raise the toes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now try three super slow motion. One, whoops, two, three. So you want to work on keeping your body completely still. Three super slow motion on the other side. So get your cat start, get your vertical alignment, raise the foot off the floor, and then we're going to go one, two, in super slow motion, three, that's getting better, yeah, so the better you're lined up, the less you get the wobble factor. So you've heard of the X factor, this is the wobble factor. You want to reduce your wobble factor by aligning yourself correctly. And also with your mind root, feel your root and that you're solid even when you're standing on one leg. Okay, let's have a water break. We'll come back to that shortly. You know, you don't, you can have too much of a good thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to practice. Um, so. So just watch. Three. Parry and punch. Double handed push. And then we'll do it the other side. So just watch for now. One. Two. Three. Now on three, that's when you move your weight. Hidden punch. Parry and punch. Double handed push. There we are. We'll do it as a fun little um, walking exercise. So start with your right hand first. I'll start with my left. You're in cat stance. And we're going to do that up and down thing three times. And on the third time, you move into hidden punch, parry and punch, double handed push as a little walking exercise. Because then when we actually do it in the form, it will be wonderful. Okay, here we go. One, in super slow mo. Two. Three, hidden punch, step, parry and punch, double handed push, then go into cat stance with the other foot, get yourself, check your posture first, so there's no hurry, make your fist, and we're going to do three, and on the third one, we move. One, weight in the back leg. Two, weight in the back leg. Three, weight in the back leg, but now transfer, hidden punch. Step. Parry and punch, tall through the spine. Double handed push. Cat starts again. 
One, two, three. Transfer the weight, hidden punch. Parry and punch. Double handed push. One more. One. Two. Three. Nice. Okay, next. Let's have a little look at. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just do the kick. One, two. We'll do ten of these. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fabulous. Really, really good. Yeah. So, okay, let's leave standing on one leg for a bit because that, I don't know about you, but I can really feel my legs now. Let's do something nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. What we'll do is we'll do some Qigong and then we'll go through... the form to grasp the tiger's ears just to just to see if it's all working oh what a relief isn't that lovely okay right let's have a look at open close open close so wrists lead fingers follow Wrists close, fingers follow. So you're feeling the... So do have a look at the video when it comes out because then you can, you can practice the how to stand on one leg thing in your own time and it is worth persevering with. Elbows, wrists, fingers follow. Open. Elbows close, wrists close, fingers close. Tall through the body. Nice. Nice and relax, there's no hurry. Okay, now shoulders open, elbows open, wrists open and fingers open. Shoulders close, elbows, wrists and fingers. Yeah, we're, we're doing nice things now, Amy, because... That was getting a bit character building, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Do do have a go at them again when you when you watch the video. You know, soon soon you'll be eating your your breakfast standing on one leg and stuff, and it will all be really easy. Okay, now the chest opens, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers. Chest closed, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers.
so it gets a bit bigger this is the way that Eva teaches it when she's building it up now come forward slightly and then back <clears throat> keep breathing fabulous okay now go up to chest height or shoulder height go up to shoulder height down slightly actually it's slightly higher than shoulder height whenever's done it she says it's shoulder height, but it's more like chin height, actually. But So it's like you're having a big, like when you have a big stretch and a yawn first thing in the morning. Ooh, that's it. Okay, now we go up to head height. Oh, lovely. I like this one. It, it does very nice things for your, very nice things for your back and for your chest. One more time. And just let the arms come down. Check your posture and we'll do, we'll do Mike's one. <clears throat> nice. Nice and relaxed. This one. Move up from the back. Okay, and the Ronnie Robinson version. There we go. looking at the moon One more each side. Bring the arms down. And three of these. One more. Okay, before we go and do the form up to grasp the tiger's ears, let's do a bit of the dough in massage. So we just rub the hands together and very gently tapping around the face. So we'll keep plugging away with the one-legged stuff. Round the cheeks. Gently on the sides of the head. So at your tiger point.
gently round your head. Rub the back of the neck. Tap on the backs of the Relax the shoulders, sink the hips, breathing in and out, and then pick a shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down the inside of the arm and up the outside of the arm. Okay, and the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then We'll do one more and then either side of the spine in parallel lines radiating outwards. I'll show you that. So we go like that. And you can rub your back as well. That's just as lovely. And then round the hips. Three, four, five. And we go down the outside of the legs, on the feet, and up the inside of the legs. And one more. And then on the tummy. And on the chest. Big breath in. And out. And then three big breaths. And one more. Nice. Okay, so let's go through the form from the beginning to grasp the tiger's ears. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. I'll, we'll do it really slow and I'll talk us through it. I'll talk us through the moves. So there's, don't, don't worry. Okay, so uh, hang on, let me just check. Um, oh yeah, okay. I'll just make that go slightly up, just a little smidgen up there. Yeah, that will that will work. Okay. Here we go, nice and tall. Just sink the hips, lengthen through the spine, feel the ground under your feet and gently draw in the toes. Nice and tall through the head. Sink the sh uh, shoulders and your hips and your sitting bones. Gently breathe in and out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out and in. Bring the hands in. Sink. Transfer the weight. Raise the hands up. Turn on the heel. 
push out with the left hand, gather under, hold the ball. Step, heel toe, part, world, horses, main. Sink back and turn, turn out, hold the ball. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. This time, side step. Grasp the sparrow's tail. White crane spreads its wings. 20% of the weight. In the front foot, I'll just walk backwards a bit because I've got to step forward three times. And then brush knee and push. Brush knee and push last time. This time, spear hand. Cut down. Play. The peeper, step back and repulse the monkey four times. One, two, three, and four. This time sink forward, hold the ball. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. Into double handed push. Pull through the spine. Sink back. Turn. Push out. Gather under. Hold the ball. Step, inspect the horse's mouth, tall through the spine, roll back, ward off, double handed push, sink back, turn, bring the hands down, Cat start, pick up the sock, raise the knee, nice big stance for single whip, big stance, very positive feel, sink back, bring your left hand to the right wrist, bring your right hand down and then go into cloud hands, I'll come this way a bit, step, rotate, Final time. One, two, three, four, five. One sink back, two turn. Raise the palm up, left palm up. Three cat stance. Four inspect the horse's mouth, raise the leg. Five, open the left hand, put the, um, open the right hand, put the left foot down. Two, block over left leg. That's it. Three, open the arms. I'll just go back a bit so I've got a bit more room and I don't kick my bookshelf. Four. Okay, now one, two, three, four. Get my feet in the shot. Four, five, six. Grasp the tiger's ears. Ooh, brilliant. Well, we're getting there, aren't we? Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. I think we should do that again. Um, I'll try and um, move around so you can see my feet. So I'll. But you don't need to move around. You do it properly. It's just so you can say so you've got something to look at. Let's do that again. Okay. This time, flowing. Actually, before we do that again, let's do sun and moon. So sun, nice and big and warm and lovely. And not, not warm enough at the moment, but never mind. And then the moon, smaller and more reflective. Okay, one more round. I just came over here a bit so you could see better me squashed up in the corner. Okay, let, let's go through the form again to grasp the tiger's ears, but think more of it uh, flowing. Breathing in and out. Breathe in. Breathe out again. Sink the hips, now transfer the weight, so smooth and relax, push out, gather under, hold the ball and then go this way a bit, part the wild horse's mane three times. So I think almost like you're gliding. Nice solid connection to the ground. Hold the ball and this time sidestep, grasp the sparrow's tail, white crane spreads its wings. So just hold that position a bit while I reposition myself. Now you drop the arm, drop the other arm over. Brush knee and push. It's quite positive. Positive movement. Both knees bent. Sink back. Feel that you're smooth, that you're flowing, you're fluid. Play the peeper. Sink down, nice and relaxed. Step back and repulse the monkey. So we're using our intent mind to harmonize with our heart mind. Tall through the spine. Sink forward like you're pushing something away. Now you hold the ball, bringing it into the body. Sinking forwards, roll back, ward off. Soft, smooth and slow. Sink back and turn, connected and relaxed. Inspect the horse's mouth, roll back. Soft focus gaze. 
Double handed push. And remember, you're stroking the giraffe's neck. Lift the. There we go. Big stance. Single whip. Really solid. And then you go into wave hands like clouds. Step, rotate, shift. Step out three times with your left foot. One, two, third time, three, one, two, three, four, five. Nice big single whip. Sink the weight back, raise your palm, go into cat stance, high pat on horse. Open the right arm, block over left leg. Open, kick, oh, I'm gonna kick the bookshelf, let me go back a bit. <laughs> kick with right leg, play the peeper. Rooster stance, bring down the hands, stay upright, grasp the tiger's ears. It's a big tiger, great big tiger head. And relax. Woo! There we go. Right. Wow. That was it. I mean, considering we're not, not outside in the giant hall, so you're having to adjust your uh, steps, that's, that's pretty good. So, okay, just have a look. What I'll do is I'll bring the thing down. Have a look what, what happens after. Because we're not far off. So we've done grasp the tiger's ears. And we turn and then we kick with left leg and then it goes to this goes to snake dips down twizzle bring that there golden rooster stands on left leg I'll go this way a bit otherwise I'll have to walk through the wall one heel toe two three four five six seven so that's what we're we're doing next the the way you can do the snake creeps down if you have a look this is how i do it i go like that but that's a bit and then we're not uh, and the other side That's quite full on though. So the way Mike does it is he'll go to here and actually this way is a lot more practical and it's less murderous on your legs, you know. But just so, um, that's how we'll be doing it. But actually if you want, you have to do lots of stretching. If you want to do it that other way, you have to do a lot of stretching that one. We do do some stretching. You have to do a lot of stretching that way. And you have to do a lot of hamstring stretches. So, and also a lot of this up and down stuff. So when you go to there, some people even do it down there. And then you transfer, you have to, it's it's um, quite hard work. You might, so I'd, I'd recommend you do the easier version first. Because the principles are still the same. Yeah, so. Okay, and just sink the hips. We'll, uh, Keep breathing, but I think everybody's able to stand on one leg better. So we'll keep persevering with that, but not sort of, we'll do it to a level where it's still okay to do it rather than, you know, we're, we're just underneath boot camp. 
Or leg camp, I guess you'd have to call it. Just standing on one leg camp. Okay. Nice and relaxed. Oh, now here's a good one for you. Um, this is one I learnt from Ebika Scuba. And it's called Phoenix Turns Its Head. And it's really good for confusing the brain. You'll love it. You'll love it. So what you come up like this with the hands first. Like that with the hands first. And then you, you turn this foot in. And this foot comes out, so they both point that away. And then this hand goes to here, this hand goes to here. Then you turn your hand over, you turn your hand behind, you sink your hips and you look down. And then this hand comes back and this foot comes back. You make this shape and then this foot comes out with a hand. Then it goes like that. Then it goes one, two three there you go so we'll just do that very good for the neck very good for confusing the brain so tall so you point your feet think of emu and that, that's like that now you do the other hand that's like that and then we look down and then we come in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, actually we've done, we've done both sides, so we can stop now. We'll, we'll continue, we'll, we'll um, include that one. Now we go breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Oh, embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. more time and then we'll see if it works this week rub the hands together and polish the face and then rub the hands together again and give your lower back a nice rub brilliant Okay, let's take a few slow, deep breaths. Really feel that you're nice and tall and relaxed. Take a few slow breaths. Really feel that you're owning your space and then make a fist with the right hand left hand over the top bring your feet together and bow yeah good effort everyone <laughs>